Yoshida Shoin. Yoshida Shoin, originally named Sugi Teranosuk, was born in Hagi, Japan, as the second son of Sugi Yurinosuk and Kodama Taki. He was later adopted by Yoshida Daisuki and renamed Yoshida Shoin when he was four years old. This practice of adopting younger sons from the Sugi house was a long-standing tradition to ensure the Sugi lineage's succession. Shoin's education was accelerated, and he received military training from a young age. He gave lectures to important figures, led military exercises, and studied Western military science in Edo under various instructors, including Sakuma Shozen and Asaka Gansai. Shoin's upbringing and intense education played a significant role in shaping him into an educator and activist who later contributed to the Meiji Restoration in Japan. In late 1851, Yoshida Shoin embarked on a four-month trip across northeastern Japan without waiting for written permission from the Chashu government, an act of defiance called Dapan, or Fleeing the Han. When he returned to Hagi in 1852, he faced punishment from the daimyo, including losing his samurai status and stipend. His father became his guardian, and he was granted ten years of leisure to study anywhere in Japan. In January 1853, Shoin was allowed to return to Edo for further studies, coinciding with the arrival of Matthew Perry in Japan. In 1853 and 1854, Matthew Perry visited Japan, and shortly after his arrival, Sakuma Shosen proposed to the Bakufu that promising individuals be allowed to go to the United States to learn about Western ways. When this proposal was denied, Yoshida Shoin and Sakuma came up with a plan for Shoin to stow away on Perry's ship to study the West. They attempted to gain access to Perry's ship in Shimoda, presenting a letter and later trying to climb aboard the USS Powhatan, but they were refused and subsequently imprisoned by the Tokugawa Bakufu. While in jail, Yoshida Shoin managed to send a written message to Perry but never introduced himself. After his release, he took charge of his uncle's small private school, Shoka Sanjuku, where he taught military arts and politics. Despite being forbidden from traveling, he sent his students across Japan as investigators. In 1858, Inao Suket, the Taiaro of the Bakufu who signed treaties with Western powers, initiated a crackdown on Sono Joy rebels in Kyoto, Edo, and the provinces. Many of Yoshida Shoin's followers were caught in this crackdown. That year, Yoshida Shoin abandoned his scholarly pursuits and took up arms. When Yi Nao Suket sent a servant to seek the emperor's support for one of his treaties with foreigners, Yoshida Shoin led a revolt, calling on Ronin for help, but received little support. Nevertheless, he and a small group of students attacked Yi's servant in Kyoto. The revolt ultimately failed, leading to Yoshida Shoin's imprisonment in Chashu once again. In 1859, Chashu was ordered to send its most dangerous rebels to prisons in Edo. While in jail, Yoshida Shoin confessed to his involvement in an assassination plot and continued to plan the rebellion from his cell. He did not anticipate his execution until three of his friends were executed. On October 15, he recited his final death poem, expressing his love for his parents and wondering how they would receive the news. Two days later, on October 17, he was informed of his death sentence. 
When the day of his execution came on November 21st, Yoshida was taken to an open courtyard near the prison and led to the scaffold. He maintained composure as he knelt atop a straw mat, and upon his decapitation, his executioner noted that he died a noble death. Yoshida Shoin was 29 years old at the time. After his execution, he was initially buried by Ito Hirabumi and Chasha comrades near the execution site. Later, in 1863, his supporters reburied him in Wakabayashi, Edo. Thank you for watching.